Alright, so I have updated or um, I've extracted the uh, shock value 1.1 update without um, overriding uh, 1.0. So this is just like fresh out of the box. So um, I'm going to look at my directories here to make sure they're all up to date. So the original directory that I do have is, uh, is on my G drive. So uh, games, uh, duck station, shock value bios so um everything is in the current folder so i need to actually change this all right so i'm going to grab the bios from my current folder well select the uh, current bios folder on the uh, c drive all right uh, games shock value and a c drive console settings emulation settings uh, game listings so it's still um it seems I have uh, the shock value uh, ROM on my D drive, so I'm actually going to update this as well. All right, so I'm going to uh, select the uh, shock value on my uh, on my C drive. This is this is it right here. So, would you like to scan the directory recursively? Uh, so I don't want to do that. So pretty much, I've just updated my um, my shop value directory to um, the current one on my C drive. Hotkeys. Uh, for the memory cards, I'll keep them all the same. Um, just because. Uh, so if you do have like a safe memory card, it doesn't matter where you load it from. That's completely fine. It's not going to affect uh, the textures being loaded. Display, um, you can only use Direct3D uh, Direct 11 uh, for this version. Also, there is a <clears throat> on the newer version of DuckStation, you can use like Vulkan um, Direct3D uh, 12 as well. And I think you can use op OpenGL as well, but I don't recommend using that option on the newer version. I'll say you stick between like Direct 3D 11 and Vulkan. Um, that's what I use. So um, these are my settings. Um, select your video adapter. Definitely uh, recommend using the more higher power GPU. All right. Uh, this doesn't really affect textures except this down here. Texture correction may fix some issues. But um, most of these you could probably leave unchecked unless you um, have like some wobble in your uh, in your models. Definitely, uh, you can mess around with these options. So pretty much, uh, th those are my settings, and I'm going to load the ROM from uh, the current C drive. So let's do a fast boot. So mind you. Um, this is just a ROM without the 1.0 update, right? So a lot of what we're going to get is just the uh, the ROM before we uh, added the high res textures. So let me skip this. <clears throat> All right. So if your screen looks like this. Uh, it means you didn't overwrite uh, version 1.0. So um, what I'm going to do. Let's see here. Okay, great. This is uh, this is how it looks currently. So uh, instead of um, dragging my whole uh, duck station uh, folder over I'm actually just going to dr drive or drag the uh, textures over and then we'll reload them uh, one moment all right uh, so I've grabbed the textures from my old uh, folder I'm just going to paste them here I'm not going to replace superstars because we only have a few from the uh, 1. Uh, 1.1 version so I'm just going to paste the uh, 1.0 textures here without superstars okay boom all right so um, I've added most of the textures um, arenas and such so let's move forward now for the arena my stuff may not look like uh, too accurate uh, because 
you know, I'm always working on updates. So what we're going to do now is um, let's select something here. All right. All right, so let's leave the options menu. And before we leave the options menu, it doesn't seem like it loaded anything at all. So I'm going to make sure that texture replacement settings are on. All right, so we got uh, enable texture replacement, preload texture replacements, and enable VRAM, which are for like our loading screens. Okay. Um, all right, so let's load our textures here. Okay, so what seems to be happening is it doesn't seem to be picking up our texture directory. Directory, So I'm going to try to do a refresh and see if uh, the texture loads then. Actually, uh, let's, let's actually power off and load it from scratch. Okay. All right, we saw all textures loading. So let's see if we get our loading screens. There we go. So our loading screens are there. Let's see if it loads everything. Okay. Let's modding. <clears throat> All right, great. Okay, uh, it does seem to have loaded everything. All right, so from there, I'm just going to press start. Let's see if our text loads. Remember, I just copied over the um, the 1.0 textures. So it's loading the font for our uh, memory card. We don't have one right now set up. So your text should load like this. And for Ash, um, who said, um, so he was able to see the text. So let's briefly run a match. I'm going to try to select uh, two superstars from 1.1. Uh, let's see. I know there's an Alexa Bliss update. Alexa Bliss. And there's a... I know there's a Kevin Owens. And there's also... Um, I believe there's a Shinsuke update as well. But let's... Uh, let's find Kevin Owens. Let's turn off entrances. <clears throat> and let's go to match. All right, so my arena is probably going to little, look a little bit weird. Um, see, um, I knew it. But of course, um, the version that I have, well, if you use the the version of the game uh, or 1.1, your arena is not going to look like this. But I do, um, I have a working version of uh, of the future uh, update, and so in a future update, the arena is uh, much more different. Um, the barricades are unmirrored. There's a whole new uh, back Titantron and everything. So. Uh, never mind this. So uh, this is Alexa Bliss with uh, things like a face update. And for Kevin Owens, you can see that there's a, a face update. Also, um, I've added kick pads to Kevin Owens as well. Okay, and we see that he has like a blinking texture on his uh, boot. What I'm going to try to do is um, just demonstrate how we can fix that. So let's go to settings and let's go to general settings and let's go to display what we want to look for is our PGXP settings so let's go yep PGXP and let's go to texture correction 
you may have seen you see some changes in the background okay great um, but I'm looking for the boot um, let's see here Okay. All right. So let's um Also, um, just another detail, we kind of upscaled Alexa's attire just a little bit more. So she's like extra, extra high res. Let's see if I can get an up close, closer look on the face texture. It's a lot more detail. Um, but of course, there's probably going to be another update in the future um, when she returns so um, that'll be something that uh, the team works on but uh, at least for now you do have a crispier version of Alexa Bliss and the uh, a more work in progress version of Kevin Owens alright so let's get out of match and let's check on our textures so you see the loading screens come up now All right, and our texts are there. All right, so uh, if you follow my uh, followed everything I did, you should be able to see the um, the menu textures now. Um, if you do have any problems, let me know, and if you can, definitely post some screenshots. All right, peace. This is The Rock, and on the behalf of Team NMCM, welcome to SmackDown Shock Value.